hello welcome to another video until now we have uploaded so many videos of bones in upper limb and we are almost done only few bones are left and few bones will be done soon today i am going to start with the bone in lower limb and first the hip bone is also called coxa which means hip hip bone consists of three bony components are called the ilium pubis and ischium the i will tell you how to identify the general feature how to identify i will tell you how to identify general features of hip bone and how to hold hip bone in anatomical position this is ilium posteriorly it consists of greater sciatic notch and lesser sciatic notch hip bone pubis consists of body superior ramus and inferior ramus and obturator foramen contributed by and obturator foramen contributed by ischium 2 to hold in anatomical position there are some features of the bone to satisfy in a position that will be discussed should face is ilium bone should face superiorly pubis bone with its superior ramus superiorly inferior ramus inferior medial of your corresponding hand obturator foramen faces anteriorly and this is the larger which we call acetabulum should face laterally now how to hold in anatomical position with the hand the corresponding hands the corresponding hand in between the index and thumb put into the greater sciatic notch and keep the thumbs a position which i have explained earlier is the anatomical position of hip bone so today we learned how to hold the hip bone in anatomical position and this is very important part while studying osteology as i said previously because it helps you to understand the location of its different parts and the features also it helps to understand the attachment over the bones till then see you in next videos of hip bone till then take care goodbye